Picking for a record third straight time at the top of the draft, the Houston Astros used the number one overall selection in the 2014 draft on Southern California prep pitcher Brady Aiken. This marked just the third time in draft history that a prep left-hander had been picked with the number one overall selection in the draft, and the last time being 1991, a mere five years before Aiken was actually born. He fits the mold for what you look for in a prep pitcher. He has a nice, fluid, and athletic delivery and a strong, durable build with room to get even stronger at 6'4", 210 pounds. His fastball primarily sits 90 to 93, touching 97, being able to pitch to both sides of the plate effectively. His curveball shows at least plus potential, and he shows feel for a changeup that shows above average potential as well. He also offers some of the best command in the entire draft, and he is one of the youngest players in the entire draft. It will not be 18 years old until nearly the end of the minor league season. After Aiken, the Astros primarily looked at college players. With their next selection, they picked Virginia outfielder Derek Fisher. Entering the season, Fisher looked primed to be a potential mid-first round pick, but unfortunately he suffered a broken haymate bone and missed a good portion of the season. He is a very athletic player with above average speed, and he'll show you above average power in BP as well. Scouts' opinions differ on how much of that power will translate to game action. But he is a pure hitter who has a chance to be an above average hitter. Despite his speed, he is limited to an outfield corner and his below average arm and fairly awkward movements in the outfield probably limit him to left field. But getting him at the th- with the 37th pick in the entire draft coming into the spring sounds like a very good value. And with the third selection, they picked A.J. Reed, the college player of the year. Coming into the season, he was thought of more as a pitcher, but he had... One of the best seasons in all of college baseball, hitting 23 home runs, leading all the NCAA with an isolated slugging of more than 400. He is something of a three true outcomes hitter who draws a ton of walks, about 17% of walks, while striking out at a fair clip, and again, also leading, showing as much raw power and in game power as any college player in the entire class. Beyond that, with the third selection, with the third round pick, they selected JD Davis, a corner infielder with plus arm strength that could translate to the mound down the road, and plus power. And then their, their fifth round selection, Jacob Nix, is the only other high school player they selected in the top five rounds, or in the top ten rounds, excuse me. At his best, he can sit in the low 90s, touching 95, and has feel for an above average changeup. It is a strong, durable build. And so they're walking away with the consensus number one overall player in the class and a good collection of college guys who have performed.